Run a script on startup on Windows 10. On previous versions of Windows I have used the below technique to run a batch file on Windows startup. Create a shortcut to the batch file. Once the shortcut is created, right click the shortcut file and select cut. Click start, then programs or all programs. Find the startup folder and right click that folder, then select open. Once the startup folder is opened, click edit in the menu bar, then paste to paste the shortcut file into the startup folder. If you do not see the menu bar, press the Alt key to make the menu bar visible. Any shortcuts in the startup folder will automatically run each time the user logs into Windows. I have been unsuccessful in finding how to do something similar on Windows 10. Any ideas? The startup folder is still there and functions as normal. To access it, press Windows plus R, then type, shell column startup. You should be able to do what you were previously doing in Windows 7 from there. You can use schedule tasks and set it to run at startup. Go to manage schedule tasks create a basic task. Once at the dialog box, set a name, click next and select at startup, next again and select the program you want to run and next to finish. Done? To add to user 314352's answer. The startup folder is still there and functions as normal. To access it, Press Windows plus R, then type Shell Startup. You should be able to do what you were previously doing in Windows 7 from there. You can also type Shell Column Common Startup to access the startup folder for all users. If you don't have access to Windows plus X functionality, you can navigate manually to the two startup folders. User, see column backslash users backslash user backslash uptata backslash roaming backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash start menu backslash programs backslash startup. All users, see column backslash program data backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash start menu backslash programs backslash startup. Here's a useful batch file to open either or both of these folders. Note, above applies to Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, and maybe earlier versions.